to our midweek Bible study. My name is Helen and you are very welcome here. So today is part two of our three-part series. We, our series is called Courage, Compassion and Connection. Last week we talked about courage and we talked about Deborah who was a judge and this week we are talking about compassion. So compassion derives from the Latin word pati, which means to suffer with. And compassion is something that we all hope that we have and we can show to others. However, I find that it's not always our first response. We tend to self-protect and we look for something or someone else to blame. Or we might shield ourselves by turning to judgment and immediately go into fix it mode. So it's only when we know our own darkness will we truly be able to help others in theirs. And so the heart of compassion is acceptance, acceptance of ourselves and acceptance of other people. And so the better we are at, our, at accepting ourselves, the more compassionate we will be. So the person that I want to talk to you about is called Tabitha. So her story can be found in Acts 9 verses 36 to 42. It's a really small story. In fact, it's only a couple of verses long. However, we can learn great compassion from Tabitha. So everything about Tabitha comes back to compassion. She used to help the poor and specifically the widows. That was her ministry. So if you were a widow back in those times, then it meant that you had no financial security. If you didn't have financial security, you didn't know where your next meal would come from. You didn't have clothes to wear and you may even lose your home. So you needed a lot of compassion. You were a very needy person. You needed a lot of help. So if you were a woman and you were a widow, it meant that you would be poor. So who's going to feed you? Who's going to clothe you? Who is going to just show you basic human conversation? Tabitha didn't just happen upon these people. She actively found them. In a time where females' general activities were around surviving day-to-day -day life and to look after their families, it was really hard to be a widow. So Tabitha's lifestyle showed that love is an active verb, intent on doing good for others. She daily showed compassion for these women. So the author of this story is Luke and he tells us that she would make clothing and garments for these widows. And so spoiler alert, Tabitha dies in this story. And when she dies, she leaves this huge void in this community. People miss her deeply because of the compassion and the impact that she had, especially for these women. So Peter is another person in the story. He was another disciple. And when Tabitha dies, the widows, they send for him. When he arrives in the upper room where Tabitha's body has been prepared and she's in her burial clothing. The women are distraught. It says that they are showing, they are showing Peter the garments that she made. No doubt she, they would have been talking about Tabitha's compassion for them. So it shows that these women were Tabitha's friends. They weren't just 
people that Tabitha just chucked a bit of money in a hat and walked on by. She had a deep connection with them. She showed them what human love looked like. And it is no doubt that without Tabitha's compassion and her heart for these women, that they would have died. So the outpouring of grief in this community shows how loved she was and what a difference she made. So although we don't hear from Tabitha ourselves, through Luke, we can see what, what an incredible, compassionate woman she was. So this, there is some information missing. So before I go on, I just want to draw your attention to some of these questions that I know I have. So was Tabitha a widow herself? We don't know if she was married or not. Was she wealthy? And did she give her money away? Because if she sewed garments for these women and fed them and looked after them, she had to have resources. So did she choose to share her wealth with the poor? So it's easy to imagine that her home was a refuge for people. The fact that she had an upper room would show that she did have some wealth and yet she opened her doors to these women. She had that friendship with them, so much so that they were in the room with her body, awaiting for Peter to come. So it seems like her home functioned as a community base. I like to think that people donated things, resources to her, and then she distributed them out. So in this story, Tabitha is in fact raised from the dead by Peter, the disciple. And for me, it raises the question, why her? You know, they would have had lots of people dying daily. Why specifically did Peter answer the call to come to see Tabitha? It makes me ask the question, did God use her because she was such powerhouse of a woman did he use her to die and then be resurrected so that more people would come to believe in the Lord so though Peter said the prayer it was God that allowed the resurrection so I'll leave you to chew on that uh, for a little bit but let us take the lessons learned from Tabitha and show compassion to everyone that we meet. Tabitha didn't just show compassion, she showed friendship. That's the root of compassion to me. So when you see needy people, let's not be people that just chuck money in a hat and walk on by. Let's actually stop and have a conversation. It's what Jesus did, it's what Tabitha did. It's certainly what I want to do going forward. Thanks for listening, guys, and tune in to next week where we will be concluding our series with connection. Take care. Bye bye.